Today I'm going to show you guys how to triple or more your coins in FIFA. We're going to go over all budgets, low budget, high budget, ton of investments. It is Ligoon team of the season. If you watched the video I posted literally yesterday, we talked about Ligoon SBC cards. We're going to jump straight into the low budget side. I mentioned the gold commons. We went that route and the center backs did pretty good. I don't know what the goalkeepers were like. I think the goalkeepers were above a thousand. The center backs did really solid. Let's just check out what they're going for right now. It's basically, if you watched the last video, I don't want to spend much time on the gold commons, but um, I think you can make this play again for pretty much min price. The bid should be fairly simple, I would say. They're, they're pretty much back down. So 500 coins max on the defenders. I, it's not just center backs, it's defenders. That's what I forgot to do. So defenders, 500 coins max price. It should be really easy. You could sit here, snipe, or you could bid. Uh, if I told you guys yesterday buy them and then sell them today on friday if they do go up in price they did uh some cards were up a bit more than others like da silva one of the uh french Ligue center backs he went to like three thousand coins i sold mine for 2.7k and then also these andre girotos were up at 1500 coins so almost a thousand coins per card it was easy double slash triple your coins just from the video i posted yesterday GG if you did that. So I think you can basically do that gold common investment. Again, if you want to figure it out more, just go watch yesterday's video. But uh, gold commons, do that route. And now before we kind of continue, I want to talk about the SBCs. With these Ligoon cards, yes, they rose yesterday. But we have a bit of a situation, a bit of a uh, um, predicament here, okay? I want to mention this. Uh, team of the season. La Liga Team of the Season Challenge number five. If you notice something, there's no Ligoon Team of the Season Challenge number one. So I am curious if we are getting the daily Ligoon SBCs. That is what would make these Ligoon cards rise. I'm going to go over a bunch of Ligoon investments for, you know, hoping these SBCs come out. If they don't come out, though, the cards I'm telling you, I wouldn't expect to rise that much. But let's talk about the challenge for every team of the season so far we've had a challenge and it's five for each one premier league had five bundesliga had five la liga had five uh today the tokens came out again and there was no Ligoon sbc the tokens they gave you a free one and three of them were in objectives but when you did start up fifa it said you can get tokens throughout the rest of this team of the season promo through objectives uh one's going to be in a pack and SBC squad building challenges. So, fingers crossed they do the daily Ligoon team of the season challenges. That's what I'm hoping for. Because if they do do that, do do, um, I think the cards can do really good. We've seen just in marquee matchups alone on Thursday what some of these cards went to. I really think the Ligoon cards could do very good. We just need them to drop a Ligoon team of the season challenge. Hopefully, we'll, we'll see. If you want to see what happens tomorrow on Saturday, join my Twitch live stream in the description down below. I'll be live at content just for a little bit because I got to pick somebody up at the airport tomorrow. But uh, where are we at? Rares. Rares. We are looking at Ligoon Rare SBC cards. So let's move over to that. It's the same concept as the last video, if we're being honest. The Ligoon Gold Rares, basically every position except the central one. So no center mid, no CDM, no center attacking mid, no striker, no center forward. So any of the other positions as gold rares, you should be able to pick them up for close to discard. If we go like this, um, yeah, ignore that. Uh, defender, let's do that. They're so cheap. They're really, really cheap. You should be able to pick these cards up like 800 coins max. You don't even have to pay more than that. Let's look at right wing. Are, are they really cheap? Is dude's min price? Is he even selling? This guy actually went up to uh, 3K today. It was crazy. He went up to 3,000 coins for a little bit. I mean, I think you should be able to win him for 700 coins, I would guess. I don't know why. What is it? Max. Okay, 800 max buy now. I, I think someone might be bidding through right now at 750. You should be able to win the bids at 700 max, which I, I think is a super, super easy buy. And that's it for that gold rare section. You know, I talked about it in yesterday's video. Don't want to spend too much time on it today. As you can see, this was me winning the gold rare defenders. I was doing that bidding filter for a little bit. Now, enough of the Ligoon SBC cards. You know, I think they'll pretty much, they'll go up if the Ligoon SBCs come out. That's basically it. And if they do come out, I think they're going to do so, so, so good. But now let's go into the other cards. Those are the ones where you can really make a lot of coins. Triple, whatever it is. 
you'll make a lot on those on those cards if um the daily challenges do come out now moving on to other cards it's kind of tricky I i'm not gonna lie with the sort of fodder type cards because there's a lot of supply and we need some good SBCs. but these 83s man i'm telling you guys we're hitting like lows like real real lows on some of these cards kovacic is literally 1000 coin coins by now like that's very very cheap a thousand or below on a kovacic look at these bids 850 850 that is so so low on kovacic any of the good SBC 83s, you guys know you can pick them up pretty much every weekend. Thing is, during La Liga, they didn't do that good. During Bundesliga, they did pretty solid. La Liga, though, not that crazy, if I'm being honest. I would say these cards are about a 1,000 coins, most of them that you're going to pick up. All the Prem ones. You guys know I always talk about the Prem ones. All the Prem goalkeeper 83s, Leno, Mendy, Pope, Pickford, all those guys. 1,000 coins or less. I would say they go to like 1.5K bare minimum bare minimum during the week i would hope they go over 2k but let me just pull up let's pull up kovacic real quick let's see how kovacic did last week during la liga just to see the kind of prices that we saw so we pull up kovacic la liga how did he do he didn't even move he went up to 1500 so basically i said 1500 coins bare minimum there you the 83s are usually so good but they were really shaky during 1500 on xbox damn is he always that high no, he's on a high trend. So he should be like 1,200 coins right now on Xbox, I would say, going off uh, past prices. But, um, I mean, it's too, it's too they're at points where it's like, it's just so cheap. It's kind of everything. If you look at cheapest player by rating on Flippin, everything is just ridiculously cheap right now. So 83s, I think 1K max on them. It, you know, the good ones, Kovacic, Mason Mount, Aspi Laqueta, all those kind of cards. Uh, Saul as well. 1,000 coins. I think there'll be 1.5k bare minimum during the week. I would hope 2k plus, but like I said, we shall see. They've been kind of shaky lately, but at some point they're going to rise. Like they have to at some point. It's it's getting to a point where it's crazy low. I'm thinking, I know like you wouldn't want to hold that long, but I think we might see a bit of a bounce on a lot, a lot of these like fodder type cards during Serie A team of the season, because I'm not sure how many people are going to be hyped for that league maybe not so many packs open not as much supply causing these cards to go up when the casino sbc's like 84 plus player pick come out so we just talked about kovacic let's go talk about 84s now 84 overall cards are crazy low in a pack that we just got in the store is kind of crazy we got an 84 plus star trio pack so it's guaranteed three 84 overall cards so i would aim to get 84s for between 1.5 to 2,000 coins the crappy ones like illicit should be around 1.5k on bid i would guess you see carrasco right here what are his bids like 1.8k i mean here's the thing 84s didn't do that good last week they really didn't i also think the upgrade sbcs the the casino sbcs we got for la liga the 81 plus times seven all that i think those were garbage like really really garbage and the chemistry was low Ligoon team of the season. I'm hoping if we get good casino SBCs, we should see these 84s do a bit better. But the thing is, guys, their min price is 1,000 coins. They can't get much lower. Yeah, they could go down to like 1,500 maybe. The crappy ones could maybe, like a Tadic could hit 1,000 potentially. But like, I don't know if that's going to happen. That's that's cheap. Like, very, very cheap. So 84 is 1.5 to 2K. You should be able to do that on bid, on snipes as well. 2k i mean it keeps pop and i get kicked out of the game thanks ea so yeah there's the 84s um 1.5 to 2k i would expect them to go i'd say like 2.5 to 3.5k so maybe like 1k per card hopefully that's depending on what SBCs we get you know i i ain't a genie i don't i don't know the future i'm not ea i don't make the SBCs. we're just kind of predicting hoping for 84 overall requirements that's usually what it sits around and then chemistry if they could up the chemistry a little bit because the last one was like 45 chem it was really really low now the area where the high high budget investments did pretty good last week we're gonna look at high rated fodder they did good on thursday i think they were most expensive on thursday let me pull up someone like a suarez i told you guys suarez and i told you guys um the team of the season cards last week, they did pretty solid. The buy price for 88s, we'll just talk about 88s, around 15K, basically. They ended up going to around 20,000 coins. So Suarez went from 15K to 20K. You made about 4,000 coins per card. 
pretty, pretty solid for the fodder. Let me make sure I'm on the right screen. Whoops, just full screened it. Oh, I'm messing up real bad right now. Uh-oh. Gosh. Okay, so high rated fodder. Let's pull up a Suarez. I think he's a little high right now. He's actually one of the more expensive ones, if I'm correct. Yeah, he looks like the more expensive one. So the high budget. This is what we're going to end it on. The higher budget, guys. I would say high rated fodder. Obviously, 15K. I'll take it. I would say try to target the special cards if you're buying them because this is the crazy thing, bro. 88s are 15K right now. You should be able to... 15K max is what I would pay. For 89s, I would look for 20K max. I would not go over 20K. Um, I'll say 87s, 11K max. I would not go over 11K. And yeah, 90s, probably try to aim for around 25K. But here's the thing. With some of this fodder... The team of the season cards are actually the cheapest rating. And you saw, I think last week or, or the week before, I told you guys Hagazi, he was 18K as a what, 89? And then the 89s were like 22K. And I was like, bro, this is too cheap. He's going to go up. And he ended up, I ended up selling mine for like 30K and I bought them for 18K. So I'll show you guys this real quick. Cheapest player by rating on Footbin. Here, you can see all the prices as well 1.8K, 2K around here. They were cheaper earlier they're actually up a little bit right now but look 85s are 4k i don't like 85s i really don't they didn't do good at all last week i think they were terrible last week but that's so cheap 85s are the prices of what 84s were that's insane but here's what i was talking about you look at 87s they're about 11 12k or so i mean delort's just a thousand coins or so more and he's 13k that's crazy 88s the cheapest one right now is bastoni team of the week i think he's like 16k though for being honest i'm pretty sure that's an undercut no he's 1575 i mean you should be able to get bids at like 15k maybe 15.5 on, on xbox but if you can target like adin right here Ad adan i don't know how to say his name if you can target the special cards over the actual fodder the gold fodder that's better because one um, icon SBCs will require team of the season slash team of the week. And I think the team of the season upgrade, like the Lagoon one will probably get on Wednesday, will require team of the season. So they will probably do a little bit better. And 89s, yeah, team of the season. Look, the cheapest ones is it's Grimaldo. So I think if you're going to target the high rated fodder, go for the team of the seasons. You can also just sit on this. I was doing this earlier and picking up quite a few. I like Team of the Seasons at 15K max. I think they can easily hit 18 to 20K and you can make a few thousand coins per card. So let's go 15K. And as you can see, quite a few pop up. Just oh, a bit glitchy, bit glitchy today. Okay. My market's been kind of glitched today. It's weird. I, I did fodder filter. By the way, if you did fodder filter uh, on Friday with the lightning rounds, what I told you guys to do, there were some deals. I'll show you, you know, 15K. You can win those Team of the Seasons. I've been doing it. 15k fodder filter boom insigne 86 overall for 4.1k i have a few more i just sent the fodder to my club just wanted to show this one insigne right there 4.1k 86 overall card what do 86s sell for 86s sell for insigne sells for 8.3k easy okay so let's go over sell base for a lot of these cards uh we just went over the high rated fodder icon sbc expect that on sunday expect a upgrade sbcs casino sbcs monday tuesday wednesday all that so sell day for the Lagoon lower budget SBC card, like the rares in the comments, is at content when SBCs drop. That's when they peak. If we do get the Lagoon daily SBC challenges, whatever it is, the cards usually peak on like Wednesday. But if you're on the game at content drop and your card flies, like the silver, the gold common that went to like 3k, take that profit. Don't get too greedy. Do not get greedy. Don't go up to 3K. Don't get greedy. Take your profit when you have it for the gold commons and the rares. So it's whenever SBCs drop. For the 83s, I would say sell days probably Wednesday slash Thursday. And for the 84s and high rated fodder, Wednesday slash Thursday is the expected sell day. You know, it could change. Join my live streams if you have any questions about it. That's it for this video. I hope I helped you guys out. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.